Hello everybody, this is a very large object here, and I am giving you a video on the performance of the the new build, developer build, of course, of Dolphin. So I'm gonna show you the first at first the um the current Play Store version. So let's take a look at the Play Store version right now. So as we can see here, we have a couple games here. Let's uh, pick Pokemon XD. That's a good game. So this has the Adreno 730 in this phone. Um, just to sum it up, this is the most powerful chip Snapdragon makes. So this is the, the US ROM. It's not the PAL version. It's the NTSC version. So, so far, so good, right? 60 FPS currently. It's going to create a new save file. Now, I will warn you, if you don't back up your save file, you'll have an issue. I'm not, I'm, I'm apparently David right now. And it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna make you watch this here in the corner. Yeah. Starting to struggle. It's dipping below here. And you can probably hear it. Looks like whatever that effect is. Um, is causing the issue. Yeah, it probably is a light pass of anti-aliasing as well. So let's give this a shot. Let's zoom in a little bit. Struggling a little bit with this battle. Use this earthquake because that will kill him. Yeah. Okay. So, the intro is cinematic, not too great. Some of the moves also make it tank. Um, and fights. Granted, this is a turn-based RPG. So that might not be too much of an issue for some, but it would be a little bit for me. So. So I do see a little bit of hitching here. Yeah. That's not full speed. Okay, so let's get out of that, and let's change, let's exit this emulation, and let me show you again, Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. This one's a big test for me. Get that hair off the screen. Trying to get this so it's not so blurry. Okay. So this should be running, this menu should be running at, I believe, 60 FPS. 
or 50 FPS, I think, because this one's the PAL version. So if it's doing this bad in PAL, it's going to do real bad in DSC. Ooh. So that's Holiday by Green Day, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> oh, God. And I run all my ROMs at 1080p, so even if I run it at native resolution, so let's check that. <laughs> uh, enhancements. Current resolution. One time is native. Yeah, even at native resolution, this ain't working. We're just gonna do easy, just I can click through this. This cutscene is going to be awful. Yeah. Now, you may be thinking, but you're not playing it at, um, on Vulcan. So let's change that, <laughs> shall we? Graphic settings, open GL. Let's change it to Vulcan, shall we? Save. And let's give it another shot with, um, Pokemon. Let's see if Pokemon benefits from Vulcan. And let's check to see if Tony Hawk's um, American Wasteland um, improves under Vulcan as well. Oh boy. Calm down. Okay. Why isn't there a Pokemon game for um, Switch that's like this? You know? A proper 3D game. You know? When I pick David again. So far so good, right? This is that native resolution as well. Ooh. The open GL ran better, which should put things into perspective there. And that shouldn't be happening. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna cut that short just so that you know. Um, you know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna actually play through the fight here, and we're even running this at native resolution. So it's not like we're running this at any higher resolution than we did the previous. In fact, we did less. Yeah. What the fuck? That was a critical hit. Fucking crazy. Okay. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna call that there. All right. So let's do. All right. Nothing else to see there. can't go back. <laughs> Shit. All right, hold up. 
Let's go back here. And just in case you guys think it's like my background apps, I guarantee you it's not. Um, let me go to... Oh, come on. Dolphin again. And let's go back to Tony Hawk. Again, this is under Vulcan. Native resolution. Let's see. And that's not important. This intro is still not full speed. It should be at 30. But it wasn't. I would say that is just as terrible. Just as terrible as it was before. And I'm also going to pick one last one that I know is going to be a challenge. Yeah, it's just as bad in Vulcan, so we're going to just... And that there. Exit emulation. And we're going to try one last one that I know is a difficult game to emulate. Um, Call of Duty 2. Big red one. One of my favorite Call of Duty games, I'll be honest with you. Campaign-wise. It actually made you feel for the uh, people. Like a good game should be. <laughs> should do. I'm going to run this at native resolution just because I don't want to... Oh, man. Save. Okay. So now, let's hit play game, new game. Really hope it doesn't force me through the cutscene. Nope, looks like it's gonna actually load it correctly. So here's the loading. We start off in France. Ooh, 17 FPS. We've been through worse. I don't know if you've been through 15, 13. Oh, God. That's not good. All right, sorry. <laughs> Can't do it. Can't do it. Okay, no. So let me show you exactly what, what needs to be done. Um for us to use the right version here of the emulator. First, we need to uninstall Dolphin. And I want to keep, I'll keep that app information. Why not? Just in case. And then I'm going to go to File Manager, and we're going to go ahead and go to Builds. Let's not select these things. Let's go to builds. Oh, fuck. Unselect. Builds. Open it up in installer. I'm going to do just once. And I'm going to install Dolphin from the um, Dolphin website. So it went ahead and installed. So we can actually get out of here. So let's go to... Um, where's Dolphin? Dolphin, where are you at? Where are you at? Oh, shoot. Uh, Mobile storage. Phone. Download. Builds. Just once. Dolphin emulator. 
not conflicts with existing package. Okay. All right. Well, that's kind of poop in my parade here, isn't it? Let me go to the Play Store. Dolphin. Does it allow me to uninstall data? I guess we learned not to keep the data. <laughs> um, Dolphin emulator. We're going to install here, and I'm going to actually uninstall it from here as well. Well, it does that. So what it's going to end up doing is going to turn off a setting um, that you can't do from the Play Store version. Um, and this setting apparently wreaks havoc on Adreno GPUs and with AMD GPUs as well. Uh, NVIDIA and Mali ones don't really matter um, too much, so it doesn't really care from what it looks like. So let's go ahead and let's hit uninstall. Let's hit cancel, actually. Let me actually get out of this. So here's Dolphin. Let's uninstall it. And let's not keep the data. Let's hit OK. OK, so Dolphin's gone. And let's, let's actually go back to files. And let's actually install this once and it is installed so let's open it up yes sure i have no problem allowing them to do tests here because i want them to know that this is working correctly so let's try let's see here let's start off with tony hawk's american wasteland Oh god. Uh hold up. Let me get out of this. Uh out. Exit. Uh because I have to reset the settings. Let's go back into the settings. Let's go into game put cube input. Let's do the same thing here. A B X Y Z start. Up. Up. Down. Left. Right, up, down, left, right, L, R, up, down, left, right, and we're done. And that's saved, so let's go back to graphic settings, let's go to Vulkan, show FPS, and let's run this at 1080p, because that's what I want to run everything at. So let's go to here, and let's change the overlay controls, toggle controls, toggle all. All right, and let's zoom itself back in here. It's already faster. Let's see if the menu is at full speed or not. And it is. In fact, here's what I'm going to do. Options, let's go to sound settings. Sound, 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 sound. Game settings. And then we're going to do music level, like that, thank god. Screen mode, white screen. Done. And then let's actually fix the... Uh... Because this should be running at 16 by 9, so let's keep it that way. There we go. No more weird jerkiness. 
So let's go back to story mode, and let's check to see if it actually does load. I had to remove the music because I didn't want to be copyright strike stricken. But I'm going to get copyright stricken anyway. That's pretty much full speed. That is pretty much full speed at the 1080p resolution. So upscale three times. Not bad for no... Not bad. Oh my god, and the game looks great on this uh, resolution there. It was just a loading point there, so it froze a bit. Nothing wrong there. So let's see this here. Let's see if this cutscene does it. Okay. It cut, but that's fine. Hi, I'm Kelly. Yes, I'm a hugger. I like to think of it as a full body handshake. <laughs> How hot is it that we're going to Los Angeles? Are so even the in-game cutscenes are now, working to get away from no skate here punk oh. darby what the hell are you doing with that chuck you're failing at school you're failing in life all you care about is that stupid skateboard okay so let's see how it actually performs here so let's see here oh jeez <laughs> It just crashed. <laughs> it just crashed. Okay, that's fine. But the performance is good. So I will dial it down to it just being a developer build. But so far, performance is pretty good. Um, let's try Pokemon. Pokemon. Let's see if this runs at its full speed. Again, Vulcan. Where it was absolutely struggling in the beginning. So let's see if it doesn't struggle now. Pokemon. Press start. And then we are going to save. So whatever save games you got, they're gonna be gone. So you're gonna wanna put a backup, probably. We're gonna just pick David. Slowing down slightly. But not nearly to the level it was. Okay. Still had a little bit of slowdown there. But much better. We will have to test to see if OpenGL does it any better. Because it looks like that effect is still affecting it somewhat. We'll check in the open OpenGL as well. Quick. Now some games, it may run slightly worse in certain instances. It looks like that effect actually didn't, wasn't very good on this chip. <laughs> okay. Same with that. Okay. Kind of wanted to see how that would run. And that did its, it did its best. Okay. So let's exit the emulation here and let's try this one in OpenGL. 
go click settings, OpenGL, back, back. And let's go back to here. And just for the fun of it, we're gonna test each of these in OpenGL and in Vulkan. Sorry to be bouncing around a little bit. Let's try OpenGL. Genius Sonority. Alright, let's give it another... Whatever. So this is an open geo. Some games will run better in open geo. Some will run better in Vulcan. And we can individually set per game, so. I believe. Yeah, this is going to be one where OpenGL is the winner here. By far. Yep. Looks like that effect doesn't really matter in OpenGL. Cool. Okay. And let's see in the battle if that improves here as well. Because remember, those effects had a pretty detrimental impact to the uh, FPS. So let's see if Earthquake does its... Nope. Solid. And it's way better than the previous version of Dolphin. See that effect? Did nothing. Doesn't matter at all. Earthquake. <clears throat> what I really want to see is if Call of Duty Big Red 1 is playable as well. And we're going to give that a shot as well. So. And one more time with Col with uh, Tony Hawk. Because I actually want to see if it's stable. Doesn't matter there, I don't really care about that kid, who cares? Um, index, exit emulation there, and then let's do Call of Duty. This is gonna be a toughie. This is gonna be an OpenGL, so let's see how OpenGL handles it and see if Vulcan handles it any better. I'd be surprised if it just doesn't handle as well in, open, in a Vulcan as it does OpenGL. That might be another thing they have to look at. Okay. Press start right now. We're gonna do B. That's it. Save. Because I would like to actually play this game. So let's hit. Let's actually go back. Let's go to options. Screen. Apply. Game play. Okay. And let's hit new game. Because I would actually like to play this game again. I have it on the GameCube, and I have it on the Xbox um, original. But it would be nice to take this on the go and actually beat this one more time. Because it is actually a really good story. I recommend it to anybody who's um, into like historical military shooters. So let's see how this runs. We've been through worse. Holy crap. Okay, so that was a little bit of a stutter. It's Planet 30. Man, I love that one. 
Cam looks really good in um, 1080 <clears throat> You got it. Sounds good. Oh my god, this is working. Press down on the control pad to bring up the objectives. Advanced on that one. It is working. It's playing just about as well as I remember it. This frame rate wasn't super st solid on the GameCube to begin with. So even when it goes down in frame rate like that, it's not, um... It's not the, uh, emulator's fault. So A is to reload, okay. Checkpoint reached and I had to save. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, Alan, let's do this. The bridge, Considering this was completely unplayable before, So far, that's pretty good. So we're gonna exit that out. We're gonna exit emulation. And let's test out Vulcan with these two. <laughs> and we'll end on a bonus Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. So, and see how that goes. Um, and you know what? You know what, let's do Metroid Prime 2 Echoes first. Because this one I know people had issues with playing before. Even on something as beefy as this. <laughs> Retro Studios. Oh, I love Retro Studios, man. They're so cool. I really hope they're working on something decent. I hope they're actually working on Prime 4. As they said they were. Or Nintendo's not just like going, oh, well, you know, we're working on it, maybe. Options. Display. Okay, so far so good. It's running OpenGL perfectly fine. And I wanted to see if uh, Tony Hawk's was running uh, OpenGL just fine as well. So we'll see. big moment here. Let's see. Okay. 
10th set. Running at full speed. The ship, usually when the ship comes in. Okay. So far so good at 1080p. Let's see if the overall gameplay works. So far, so good. Okay, that was a little bit of a la of lag there. So this is OpenGL. I'm about to say that's probably not playable even with this build, which is a shame to actually say. We will see. Let's see if it if it's just a cutscene. If it if the gameplay plays fine, we should be okay. Not looking too good. Yeah, that might be it for that. Okay. We're going to give it another shot with Vulcan. But we're going to try one more thing here with OpenGL. In the meantime here. So let's check. Because American Wasteland, that did crash. Um, on Vulcan, so I want to see if it crashes in OpenGL. Story mode. New story. Normal. Let's see. And we might as well see the cutscene as well. I think OpenGL might be the way to go. Um, currently, with this build, from what I can see, if you have a tri if you have a triple eight or eight Gen one, you probably should just stick to OpenGL, at least with this build. For sure. Yeah. I'm going to skip some of the cutscenes here because um, I just want to see what we can make of this. Alright, so that's going to cut. That's going to open to this. I can skip that one though. I can skip that one. So let's see if this actually loads in and actually allows me to play the game. If it doesn't, then we know that... Um, this this game is not playable okay. on Yeah, this game's not playable on the um Dolphin emulator. On mobile. That kinda sucks. Um I kinda wanted to play that game, but um You know, you just, sometimes you just have to deal with what you got. Um I'll play with a couple settings there, but I don't think it's worth taking any more look at that. Um, we'll look at Metroid again one more time here with Vulcan. Um, uh, let's give it a shot. Graphic settings. Vulcan. Vulcan, and let's give this one more time a try. And then we'll give Call of Duty one more chance as well with Vulcan and see if that actually does improve things. So, I don't know how this runs with Vulcan on the new build. Um, hopefully, 
It's better. <laughs> okay. Single player. So it did save on the temple. So let's let's check the temple. Because this will give us a good idea whether it's playable or not. Um, mission file, eight days, contact. Okay. Agreement. Locate Federation troopers and render assistance. Get a confirmation. Last transmission received from Rogue Planet. Load located on this region. Okay, uploading last coordinate now. Loading data. Target found. Man, I'm really hoping it, it runs it at full speed. <laughs> I really hope. They just can't be choosers though. If it doesn't run, it doesn't run. I can play play other games. It's okay. So that's still full speed, just as it was on OpenGL. And I can change the resolution as well. So I'll try that before I exit this game. As a last hope. So we'll see. I'm gonna at least get one of these unplayable games playable. This Pokemon was playable now. That's still bad. And up in GL. Doesn't give me a lot of confidence here or hope. Still looks it, it, like it is playing worse in Vulcan. And we will try it at a lower resolution as well. Because the resolution doesn't help it, then nothing will. So. Yeah. That ain't, yeah, that's not full speed. That's worse. Okay. Settings, graphic settings. Enhancements. We're just running at native. All right. So Vulcan, if you're running at native resolution, so Morph Ball, We'll give it one more try with OpenGL at a lower resolution as well. It's kind of hoping this would work out.
Converted cargo pond gate. This gate was once part of the solar. See if I can do a safe state. Map for this area. All right, so far, okay, it's almost playable, I guess. It's almost good enough, because I wonder if a PAL version of the game would run better. So let's see here. Options, logbook options. Settings. Graphic settings. Will it allow me? Yeah, so let's get out of that. And then let's do... Trying to find an area to save. <clears throat> Tech scan complete. So let's exit this emulation here. And let's see if it runs any better in OpenGL. Um, I have a feeling that might be the case. It might be Vulcan might be just relegated to simpler games. It seems like OpenGL is the way to go. So much for this being a short video. <laughs> There's more to this than I thought. Um, okay, so let's see here. Let's see data. See no player. Yep. Mission file. Man, I wish I could skip past this. <clears throat> hmm. 
Okay. Let's see. I get to see my bad hair day. It's not fun. Okay, it's stable. <clears throat> you already saw how it, it was improved with the resolution change, so. <clears throat> On a screen this size, you probably won't notice the, um, <clears throat> the resolution too much. But sometimes it's nice to get some eye candy, you know, but. We'll see. Oh my god, it's running at... Look at this. I think we did it. I think we did it. Thank goodness for the... Uh, I think it's the MMJR. People figured that out. Um, and then Dolphin ported that over to the developer build. <clears throat> so, thank goodness. Oh my god. Do we got this? Yes. Dismount. Oh my god. That's looking a lot better here. It's over here. Okay, can't go that way. Okay, let's jump down. I think this is it. Metroid Prime 2, finally playable on a, <laughs> on a phone. That's insane. That is insane. Look at that frame rate right there. Yeah. Alrighty, I think that is a success. So if this game can play, Okay, and then we have the store over here. Yeah. All right. This is doing it. Okay, so if you want to have playable Metroid, you got to play at native resolution, it looks like. Um, and it has to be an OpenGL. So that is good. Exit emulation. So if that plays, I would say the first game would probably play as well. Um, and uh, that's what I'm going to be playing right now. Let me know if there's any other games here listed that you'd want to see played. Um, I know like Super Mario Sunshine might be one some people might want to see, but this is all the time I got for today, so <laughs> if you really are enjoying what you're seeing on this channel, please consider uh, subscribing. I will have more content like this into the future, um, and we'll take it from there. I'll see you guys on my next video, um, and uh, Hope you guys have a great weekend. Peace out.